G'day, Steve from Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring. Welcome to part three of the Australia Day weekend Sells River Adventure. Hope you enjoy it. We'll catch up with you at the end. Last night are gone. Uh, this is where we would have camped, but um, and where we camped last time. But with other people here, we couldn't. That little grassy patch is where we, we camped actually last time with the camper trailer. And this is the hut. Now you will have seen footage of this on the other video, but uh, anyway, here we are again. Now what's interesting? Because last time we were here, Andrew lost a mud flap off his camper. Somebody has since found it. And there it is. So it's there for posterity. This, the camper's not here. He's not in any great rush to put that mud flap back on. And this is the hut. As you may remember from the previous video. So I won't spend too much time in here. Just so that uh, you can see what it's about to show we were here. Now, three days to get to this hut last time with campers on, one day this time. Admittedly, we left a lot earlier yesterday than uh, we did the previous trip. Okay, that's um, about all I've got to say about this for now. We're gonna go and climb this hill in a second. So I'll see you a bit later. It's that section that's going to be interesting, I think. Let's see how we go. Famous last words. So this is the track coming up from the Hilton. I believe this is going to take us up towards Yoxley. Now nobody's going to be riding in those ruts. They're just too deep. So in theory they'll be straddling those. We all will be. And it's nice and dry, so we shouldn't have any issues of dropping in. See who we've got first. That might be Steve in the 200. And I'll have to get out of the way because he's probably going to put the boot in here a bit. Looks a bit challenging there, but it seems to be doing okay. Alright, good morning. We've been to the hut and I've been elected as the first truck up. Why were you at a point where you think it's practical for us to start coming up at Yeah, we'll do mate. So I'm the first truck up, so up we go. We'll see what happens. There's no real reason why I'm the first truck up other than I'm the first truck up. Uh, here we go. You like the radio, Pat? I'm only down to it. It's hard to see anything. Right, once you get to that sort of first level spot. After the first rut, just give us a hoi and I'll come up. Near you then. I said once you get to that first level spot after the first deep rut, give us a hoi. I know, I can't hear you now. I'm just passing the turnaround point, so if you just want to check about coming up.
doing much talking guys as I'm looking at where I'm going. So, sorry about that. We were going to drive this with the campers on last trip but that just wasn't going to happen. We don't have campers this type so we're just going for it. Top Andrew. It's about to come up, so I'm just going to turn the camera back so it's facing down the hill so you can see what's going on. That's some of the hill I drove up behind me there. Anyway, we'll swap the camera in. For this hill climb, the Pajero is truck four. And it's only because of camera positions and stuff we were doing. And I'm getting attacked by a marsh fly, so excuse the shake of the camera. And of course, camera angles never make these look as steep as they are. What you're seeing here is a really controlled drive by Brett. These Pajeros are a lot better little trucks than uh, people give them credit for. And uh, he just makes it look really easy. Easy as that.
is it? Yeah. Is it a step? She, yeah, she dropped off. So we're just walking the track. It's a bit of a step there down. That doesn't seem too bad. But we get down here. Just that little bit of a step. Just in there, it's a bit of a mess. You could probably ride high on this. Uh, but if you do, I think we're all dropping into this hole here. As you can see, the, the ruts are pretty big, so you're gonna have to straddle those all the way down, I think. It's just that little drop off. Just there. Yeah, just this section here. Not too bad, Steve. He's pretty much come straight down that. Spotting and videoing at the same time, that's a new challenge. Stepping out of the way. Coming. That's your line. Beautiful. Is that going over the top of that branch, Steve, or not? Yeah, that's putting a wheel on on there and putting the front wheel up over that route. Yeah. They get very close to slipping off there, but they tap this route here, and it gets them up onto that.
comes Brett in the page. And then apparently I've got to walk up the hill and get the 200 because Kaz has decided I'm driving it down here. She's quite capable of driving it down here, but apparently I'm driving it down here. Right on. said go up the guts. No, I'm not. Right, you've got all that power, mate. Have a go. I said have a go, old man. No. Let me hide and make you up the spare wheel. series just walk that so this is going to be no trouble at all for Pat and the mighty 80 he's going to drive this in his sleep Pat reckons he's going to go over hard line If you get stuck, you got no handbrake. No problem at all up the hard line for the fully solid axle 80 series.
Yeah, you're fine. Comes to two hundred. Making it look a bit hard compared to the Pajero. <laughs> Long flat. This is the long flat pump. It's Sunday, there's live music. So we're gonna try and find somewhere to have a feed in here. Here we go for a look. So after we left Long Flat Pub, which was our fantastic lunch, we started making our way to Swans Crossing for the night. Nothing real exciting to talk about on that, just uh, some pretty scenic drives, stuff to look at, and uh, pretty straightforward, all the low race stuff is pretty well over. Had a four-wheel drive track a little bit later on, but nothing too hard. Anyway, we'll sort of give you a quick look at this, because we are getting close to the end. So as I said, the scenery is fantastic, and uh, we'll catch up with you just that little bit later on. Well, we had a timely reminder that these roads are two ways, so we had to pull up and uh, let the X-Trail go. No radio again. These people never learn to have radios. It's amazing to me. Also on the way to Swans Crossing, we came across this really beautiful view up on top of a mountain range. So we pulled up, took some pics, and uh, just enjoyed it generally for what it was. Really, really pretty area up there, guys. If you get a chance, I'd suggest you get up there and have a look. Okay, this place is a nice little campground, isn't it? Yeah. This one's crossing. Very busy. Well, yeah. You expect it to be. A lot busier than I like, to, Me be, too. to be honest. But she's free. It is free. But, and the um, river's just over there. Where? Right, okay, I might be going to visit that. It's a well catered for a campground, eh? But it's not chockers. Yeah, it is Australia Day, but it isn't chockers. You know, there's still plenty of people here. And again, you know, 40 odd degree days. Well, that was it for the Australia Day weekend trip. Hope you enjoyed it. Just a good fun weekend with a few friends. So if you did like the video, feel free to like and subscribe, share it around, tell your friends and uh, we'll catch up with you in the next one. Cheers guys, thanks for your support.